Hey, man. What's up? Have you ever heard of Anthony? <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> you don't know how to say his last name. You're just guessing. I'm going to be honest. This is not even close to what I expected. It's how's it spelled. They're saying Kercho. I would say Curcio. How's it spelled? C U R C I O. Oh, Kerchow. Kerchow. Okay, we'll call it Kerchow. Anthony Kerchow. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke I was trying to make. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Kerchow. Kerchio. Kerchow. 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 Anthony Kerchow. Um, have you ever heard of him? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it him sounds we'll like you Anthony. haven't. <laughs> I don't know. We won't call him. Uh, call me Anthony. We'll just call me Anthony. We'll forget the last Anthony name. Anthony Kur- 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 We are so American. Love it. I want you to find all the Valiant Thor fans and meet us in the Bank of America parking lot. What are you doing? That's my bag. <laughs> Seriously, regrets what he did in Vegas. Oh, I'd love to break your foot. Right? <laughs> did Whoa. this bank get robbed by a ghost? <laughs> this guy's got dumb ideas. I'm thinking he thinks 20 feet is far enough. Things I learned last night. Tilling it, Have you tilling heard it, him? Tilling no. it. Tilling uh, okay, so Anthony, he is an American author and public speaker um, who's been featured on GQ, Esquire, 2020, Fox News, NPR, NBC. Uh, also a convicted bank robber. Um, Ooh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, was all those features before or after? Uh, it was after. Yeah, it was after. Really? Yeah, he turned his life around. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, nah, he just figured out a different way to rob. That's the thing about all these, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so and this is going to be a little targeted, uh, but the My Pillow guy, right? <laughs> Where I was in Barnes and Noble the other day. There's his stupid little book on the thing mm-hmm. that's like, have you seen his book? It's a hologram on the front or whatever that thing's called. Where you look at it one direction, it's one picture. Oh yeah, 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 holographic. And it's like from crack addict to CEO. Oh god. And it's like, dude, you just figured out a different addiction, and now your addiction is mm-hmm. uh, insane conspiracy theories. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, there's people who were like did illegal stuff, mm-hmm. you know, and then they went to the corporate world and did uh, different illegal stuff. Yeah, I mean, relatively close, actually, relatively close. Okay, great. Uh, so Anthony Kerchow, Anthony Kerchow, Kersu, so. uh, Kersu, Kersu, Kersu. uh, so he was, he was born in Monroe, Washington. Um, and as a, as a teenager, he was kind of your, like, uh, uh, your star of the teen movie, not the star, <laughs> the villain of the teen movie. Oh, <laughs> uh, like he was the captain of, of the football team. He was dating the head cheerleader. Yeah. Um, super popular, you know, um, and what year is this? Uh, I don't know. Like when was he born? Uh, it would have been mid nineties. Um, Is he our age? No, when he was in high school in the mid nineties. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know how old you are? No, I asked. <laughs> I asked two different questions. That was my bad. That was my bad. You know. And this is and this is me taking responsibility for my actions right now. Is there anything you would like to take responsibility for? Or no, I mean, there's nothing that's happened recently that I would have to. Take okay. responsibility for so. Mm-hmm. I mean, are you alluding to something? No, nah, uh, no. I guess not. I guess not. I mean, you mm. said you said. All right, we're having power some strip. issues in our office. We have a shared office, and there's been some issues because I have paid for everything in here, <laughs> and Tim keeps using except for all the of stuff it. I've paid for. Like what? <laughs> all the stuff on my desk. <laughs> so we're having a little bit of a riff <laughs> over here. And um, and this is me saying that I asked two questions and you answered one of them, and that you know. And this is me saying I did exactly what you told me to do, and now you're upset about mm-hmm. it. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so Anthony, he played football, and it was kind of his life, right? Right. Okay. He loved In the 90s. it. He loved it. Yeah, he loved yeah. it. Um, he ends up going um, to the University of Idaho. Um, which had been his dream to play football at the University of Idaho. He went from Monroe, Washington. Yeah, small to town Idaho. in Washington Got it. to University of Idaho. Um, and uh, in unfortunately, um, he didn't last long in his uh, college career. Okay, because uh, but, he got arrested <laughs> for robbing a bank. 
very close. <laughs> um, no, in practice, he was returning a punt, um, and he tore his anterior uh, crucio ligament. Um, they Are you named just reading it his last him. name? They named it after <laughs> It's, his, it's your ACL. He tore his ACL. Okay. <laughs> wow. How do you run out of a bank with a torn ACL? <laughs> I'm very curious about the bank robbery. Uh, uh, and after after he, he tore his ACL, it ended his his college football career. Sure. Um, and it's kind of what question. year in college did that happen? It, it uh, like immediately. It, he was first year. Hasn't even played. It's punt, first day punt practice. practice. <laughs> no pads. Yeah. Yeah. They're like trying to show off. Yeah, he was like trying to show how hey, watch hot out good Idaho cut. girls. Mm-hmm. What he's, they like, he's like, hey, check it out. This ligament is named after me. <laughs> yeah, he's just out there day one of practice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tears his ACL ends his college football early career. his freshman year. Then mm-hmm. that's what I mm-hmm. meant. Uh, and so he uh, uh, he still go to school there though. Uh, Scholarship's yeah. gone. Well, he he wasn't on with the scholarship. He wasn't that good. He was just on the team, you know, uh, okay. It wasn't like this guy had like an opportunity to go to the NFL or anything like that, but like, okay. Um, well, when he tears his ACL, he gets presi- prescribed Vicodin. Uh, oh, good. Okay. Which he gets got it. Very addicted to sure. Um, and over the next few years, this addiction begins to kind of cripple him, right? Uh, he all he does is pursuing more and more Vicodin to the point where he starts creating fake identities and going into the pharmacy to try to get some more Vicodin under these fake fake identities. Same pharmacy fake. though. Yeah, and they were like, they're like, hey, we know it's yeah. Anthony. You can't yeah. just there's not this many people in this town with a limp, <laughs> you know? <laughs> we know all the limpers in town. This is this is a CVS. Anybody who limps has been here. Yeah. We actually have a <laughs> we have a, a cork board in the back where we Known take a we take a picture. Local limps. <laughs> look out for these local limps. <laughs> Why would you need to look out for them? What is the employees like? They need to look out for them. <laughs> hey, heads up. Just so you know. Just hey, so welcome to know. CBS. We're glad you're on the team here. Uh, real quick before we go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, Take a look. Memorize. We have a really big (laughs) limping problem in this town. All right. We only want street walkers. (laughs) If you see someone limping in here, hit their other leg. (laughs) (laughs) Even steps. All right. We don't take any of these weird gates. Okay. (laughs) So it's a medical (laughs) thing. And and, it, and it's honestly that's not even CVS policy. That's just ours <laughs> here at the store, you know. Yes, yes. But um, he's it's, so he he went to school in Idaho. Is he still in Idaho at this point? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so yeah. he just stays, and then he's you know trying to do different IDs, going and trying mm-hmm. to con his way into some more typical drug addict yeah. behavior. Yeah, and, yeah. And it got so serious to the point where he, and you're gonna hate this, um, he uh, took off his shoes. And he went to his concrete like wall in his basement and kicked the wall to injure his foot so he could get more Vicodin. Mm, um, that is not so fun. It was a pretty pretty serious addiction. Yeah. Eventually, his parents um, were able to talk him into going to rehab. He goes to rehab and he turns his life around um, and opens up a new business. I, people couldn't see uh, people hit Tim do the finger quotes. I think they turns. could hear me. Well, but I wanted to clear, you know, it's great. Uh, so he turns. I his, feel like they couldn't see you do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's great. Cool. Uh, so oh, I'd love to break your foot. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> uh, so he he tried to open up a casino that he called Tony's Gaming. Okay, um, so he goes by Tony sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, and so he tried to open up this casino, but it ended up getting shot down by this. Uh, State of Washington because he didn't have the proper permits. So we're back to Washington at this point. Yeah, he's back in Washington. Okay. Um, and after attempting to do that and try to find uh, other work, he ends up relapsing, um, mm. falling back into his drug use. But this had been years now of him dealing with Vicodin and whatever. He ends sure. up marrying in the interim his high school sweetheart, has a couple kids, um, and he's hiding his Vicodin addiction from her um, and okay. secretly going around and getting his Vicodin. Obviously, this is very expensive and it's causing a lot of financial pressure on the family and he's trying to have to 
explain where the money's going. And it's, it's creating a big issue in their marriage. Right. One day, he's at Bank of America. <laughs> in the says, 90s? Uh, this would be early 2000s. Okay. He's at Bank of America, and he notices, hey, um, <clears throat> uh, the Brink armored car rolls up in here, and just the guy walks in with just all kinds of money. Yeah. And there's a moment where he's outside alone. He's like, I bet I could pull this off. And so for months, he poses as a gardener outside of Bank of America. So, okay. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a heist that he's planning for months. Yes. Yeah. Where he's like, I am going to be. So this he's he's really hoping he's really banking on <laughs> this brink officer. Yeah. Just being like, yeah, dude. I mean, Bank of America really cares about their landscaping. I mean, like <laughs> this guy's out here every day. Yeah, every day he's working on it. Yeah, um, trying to make sure. Yeah, so also he, hoping no one inside catches notices. On. My, uh, I just did a show in Jacksonville. Yeah, and the pastor uh, was telling us about how he used to work at a bank. He used to work at a Bank of America. Mm -hmm. His first day at the bank. Um, you know, he's just bright eyed, ready to go do some good customer service. Walks out to the lobby. Um, and uh, I guess there's this guy that came in every day with a million dollars cash in a, oh bag, in a duffel bag That's and was just suspect. yeah, getting money orders <laughs> for this cash. Like they're just watching yeah. this money. Uh, well, he's just, you know, bright eyed, just like, yeah, I just really love, you know, new position at the bank, whatever blah, 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 goes out, goes out to the guy and goes, hey, how can I help you? And the guy just flashes his Homeland Security badge and just goes, <laughs> don't. <laughs> and he's like, okay. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, they bust the duffel bag guy. Uh, and then he wow. has to sit there for like six hours as they're taking statements from every single person. No one's allowed to leave. Wow. So if you see someone with a badge, just get out before. That guy's got a badge. I gotta get, I gotta get out of I here. I have some to gardening to do, yeah. actually. Yeah. Hey, have you guys <laughs> talked to that guy outside? He. <laughs> That guy who's been planting. The you see that guy thing? with the weed eater? Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's ate any weeds yet. Have you noticed that we don't have any bushes at this location? Uh, <laughs> he's been weed eating concrete for three months. Gardener, <laughs> not a single plant outside. <laughs> and I, I used to work at CVS. Actually, mm -hmm. I've seen this guy before. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So, so he spends months um, watching. Yeah, wa planning watching, this heist. Yeah, watching Bank of America, watching the security vehicle show up, drop the money off, and their their route, their system. Yeah, um, he's also like he is listening to police radio, like figuring out, like <laughs> watching live PD every yeah, night. He's listening to QR twenty one police radio. <laughs> We used to do that on tour, though. When we'd see, like, you remember that? We would I see, like, the remember. time we got passed by like seventeen yeah. police cars. Yeah, we'd pick up the, the. We had an app. Yeah, we had an app for it. They no, he like, was listening to. You were listening to QR twenty one police radio. <laughs> <laughs> In other news, Dunkin' Donuts closed early <laughs> this evening. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the QR twenty one police radio. Uh, <laughs> You're listening to P O L I C E. P L C E. P L. You're listening to C O P. <laughs> You're listening to C O P. One one o two point seven. C O P. Up next, we got the new single from the police. <laughs> they only play Roxanne. Play. Not even, not even like <laughs> no deep cuts, just their hits. You know, man. I wish they would play other stuff. On he's there. just out. He's <laughs> out there just gardening. Just. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a great heist. <laughs> yeah. What is with the guy outside <laughs> with the limp, and he's always humming Roxanne. Who's that limping gardener? <laughs> Someone call CVS. Find out who this guy is limping around out front. <laughs> <laughs> what they didn't know is a CVS, the CIA of CVS, right? They've got their own internal investigation network, is following this dude around, right? They're like, we need to, we need to keep tabs, to keep, keep an eye on that guy. Yeah. 
Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. That's right. That's when new episodes drop on Patreon. <laughs> Patreon's a way to get early access to episodes and other content and exclusive merchandise. And we're not going to stop there because we got a private Discord with our hosts and producers in it for less than 17 cents a day. That's right. That's $5 a month. You too can be a Patreon supporter and not hear advertisements in this freaking podcast anymore. Text Till into 66866. Otherwise, I'll come to your house. I will find you. I will destroy everything that's good in your life until we're the only thing left. Anyway, here's another advertisement. Um, so he uh, he's 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 listening to police radio, figuring out their roots. He's studying figuring out how quickly yeah. their response by how himself quick the response time is. Yeah, all alone. No one knows he's doing this. figuring out their response time. Yeah, figuring out. Okay, here's here's where the call is, and then he would go try to get beat them there and figure out how long it took them to get there. Jeez. And so he's. Uh, figuring out how quickly they could get to the bank. And they weren't the like robberies reported. None of the police were like, "This guy's here every time." <laughs> hey, you with the limp. <laughs> we can see we're really overplaying how much of a limp this guy's got. You know, he doesn't have a limp at it all at this point. It's been like eight years. <laughs> yeah, it's probably gone to He's physical healed. therapy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're really overplaying. He's probably it. Limping. Hey, you with that fake mustache and the limp. Where are you going? I'm just gardening. We need a statement. <laughs> yeah, He's, he saw the badge. Yeah, my out. garden company has been gardening in this district. What's um, your garden company called? Garden mm. Co- HGTV. <laughs> Lowe's. Lowe's. Yeah, limp, limping Lowe's. Limping. <laughs> All right, so he uh, um, he builds this plan. He builds a getaway plan. He says, "Okay, there's a creek right behind uh uh." the bank. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll attack the guy. I'll take the duffel bag of money. Physical attack. Yeah, physically attack the guy. Take the duffel bag of money. I'll run out to the creek and I'll have a jet ski in the creek and I'll jet ski to freedom. Um, okay. And and the word creek is important. How deep is a creek? I mean, not deep. So he tests this. Where does he get a jet ski? He tests the jet ski idea. I don't really know actually. It never mentions it, but he tests tests the jet ski idea. It's a creek, so it doesn't go well. Uh, so he's just <laughs> hitting rocks, <Yeah>. just <laughs> <laughs> flinging crawfish <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> like what? So he he's like he's like the jet ski is not going to work. So what he ends up doing is he gets an inner tube and he puts in he stores an inner tube back there and he he builds a pulley system. He's going to float. No, he away. builds a pulley system down the creek. So he can pull that himself. He can pull himself all the way down the creek. And nobody no. anywhere is like That's right. I'm what's thinking that like guy doing? <laughs> the, what's the, that guy doing? No one at the bank's like <laughs> What's that gardener doing? Set up all those pulleys. Doing back there in the creek. <laughs> no one hears <laughs> No one hears a jet ski. <laughs> no one sees him back in a jet <laughs> ski through them. <laughs> I mean and how then pull well? it back up covered in scratches and Tree branches. Yeah, <laughs> my guys just out for the uh, afternoon. Beautiful day, ski. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I love the and water life. I like the idea he's gonna float away. I like that with no pulley system. He's just out there on an inner tube with one of those floating coolers, right? Full of Miller Lite, and then he's just he's just gonna be out there. It's like a bag. lazy river. That's exactly what I'm picturing. He's and then he's just trying to like if, if the police roll up like, hey, we saw a guy roll out of here, run away for it. He attacked the Brink guy, yeah, which first of all, love that we're assuming it's Brink. Yeah, well, like, we know it's Brink. Okay, he attacked the Brink guy. Yeah, and uh, made. Uh, did you see a guy run through here? No, I'm just out here for just a float. Here. I'm just out here for a float. You guys want a bush light? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, uh, yeah, kind of. Your voice is really familiar. Do you do you work for one zero two seven? The COP. <laughs> Why, well, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you brought that up. <laughs> He's been running the radio station, getting cops to call in and tell them all their secrets. <laughs> <laughs> They've been telling their secrets on air. On air. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey! For this uh, segment, we want all the cops in the area to call and tell us what you do if you were at—I don't know—a bank robbery. Yeah, <laughs> all the cops. Uh, why don't you call in and give us something we can use as leverage to? Uh, <laughs> You know, to make sure that you won't turn on me. <laughs> you know, and also your Yahoo email passwords. So he's putting this plan together. He's like, he's like, okay, I think the he best built plan. a pulley system. How long? 
I mean, long enough for him to get away. Like this is what's I mean, away though. That's my. That's <laughs> what I'm asking. I don't know exactly how long it is. There's nothing that has this said. guy's got dumb ideas. I'm <laughs> thinking he thinks 20 feet is far enough. <laughs> so he starts. He starts saying, "Okay, well, he said, I'll pepper spray the the bring security guy and take him down. Take the take the bag. Run to my pulley system. Float to freedom. Um, Where does the and creek let out? I at? get away. I don't know somewhere else in town. Uh, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> uh, so we can pull up a map. Well, I was just wondering if it lets out at like a pond. <laughs> I don't know. And just say you're out there fishing afternoon, and some guy starts floating just through the pond, floating down on an inner tube. Uh, so he, he, uh, yeah, this is a tiny creek. Okay, anyway, so he he rides he rides he's gonna ride down the creek and then get off the thing with his duffel bag. Change his clothes and just walk to freedom, right? Right. Well, uh, uh, in theory, <clears throat> as he's thinking through this, he says he realizes that the police response time can be pretty good sometimes. It's not always, but can be pretty good. And so he's like, he's like, I need um, Plan B. Well, he said, he said, I need to confuse them. I need to throw them off the scent. <laughs> this is going to be your favorite part. So what if, <clears throat> what if when I get to the creek, the jet skis facing the other way, and then I just rubber band. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> <laughs> the throttle. The throttle. <laughs> like a throttle. I rubber band the throttle down. Yeah. And then there's just an empty jet ski. Jet ski just flying down. Did Whoa. this bank get robbed by a ghost? <laughs> this got demon robbed. Uh, uh, so so he, <laughs> he says, you know what? Um, uh, I'm gonna make away with a decent chunk of money from this heist, right? Is he going to Hansel and Gretel the police? So what he does is he hops on Craigslist oh. and opens up a classified ad for 20 day laborers uh, and tells them a uniform to go pick up and like has links to Lowe's like the exact items that he wants them to wear. So it's like a vest, a white t-shirt, jeans, the same pair of shoes um, and like a little face mask because they're going to be doing like uh, uh, like work with drywall or something as well like what he told them. He's going to where's Waldo these police. <laughs> so he hires 20 day laborers. So day of the heist. There's 20 of these dudes dressed exactly the same standing outside Bank of America <laughs> and he says just wait for me to show up. I'll tell you what to do. And so there's 20 of these guys all just kind of hanging out and like <laughs> 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 they have no you idea. You said I was going to hate this. This is an I said iconic love this. <laughs> idea. So hold on questions. <laughs> I have a lot. Uh, did he put like a body type description on here, or is it just like I think there's so. some big white dudes, I, there's some like you know darker skin guys, there's there's yeah women showing up like what you know I think I think it was pretty like I I don't know if it was just like hey show up or if like he had like interviews with them or he met them before twenty of them <laughs> twenty of them showed up I'm saying if you put a Craigslist if <laughs> you then, read a, let's say you're on the other side all yeah, right yeah, let's yeah, not yeah, even yeah. worry about what he's yeah. doing right now you read a Craigslist ad. That is so descriptive that it's like I need I need a five eight dark haired. Hey, okay, listen to this. Though. Average it's, build. This is September thirtieth, two thousand eight. The housing crisis is booming right now. Um, September thirtieth. What day of the week? Two thousand eight. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's look it up. And he's he's offering. Uh, Twenty eight dollars an hour. Now, originally, what I thought was that he was going to leave little. He was going to just it was a as Tuesday. he was running, he was taking out. Was it a Tuesday? It was a Tuesday. As he's running, he's just taking dollar bills out and like <laughs> leaving a trail. <laughs> I thought he was going to Hansel and Gretel them away from. You oh, know? so that way they'd go. So to they would follow it up. Oh, this is the easiest way to find the criminal. You know, <laughs> he did it the night before. Just left dollar bills to a different direction. That's exactly what I was another thinking. Creek. <laughs> That's what I thought. So <laughs> they're like, why did he go to the creek? <laughs> Uh, so then this idea is better. Yeah, yeah, this idea could work. So he's got 20 people just kind of meandering around outside <laughs> Bank of America. And no one's like exactly this. Like so let's now let's go through the brink <laughs> driver who pulls into a parking lot. <laughs> now that's what I'm saying. If you're the brink driver, you got to think you pull up and this you're like, is suspicious. What's happening here <laughs> now? Is he just standing among them? Yeah, so he's in there with them. He's with the pepper spray in there. In his I don't like the way you said in there with them. All right, <laughs> and they're he's just standing around, around outside like, Bank like, of America. Hey, did he tell you when he was going to show up? Shut or? up! Is that is that serious? What he was doing? <laughs> yeah, he was just kind of. He was like, like he was "Does anybody know what we're supposed to be doing here?" 
What was your name? Are you the guy in charge? <clears throat> he lets the brink guy get out. The brink. If the police show up, would you say you're in charge? <laughs> I'm just trying to cover some bases of <laughs> who to like, who to point them to if they showed up. Hey man, you got a pretty bad lip. No, I don't. <laughs> now just, you do. He's <laughs> kneecapping people. <laughs> Everyone has limps. Everybody's just limping around in their. But vests. you do it to like four or five, and the rest <laughs> yeah. of them kind of catch on. Yeah, they're, they're like, like all get right. away from they're me. They're like, they're like, all right. All I, have right, a I got limp. a pretty bad I've lip. Got, <laughs> yeah, they catch on. They knew, right? <laughs> so now you got twenty something people. Yeah, he's among the them. He's right there with them. He is going to among <laughs> us, the police. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so uh, the Brink security guy gets out and he's got his duffel bag and he's walking across the sidewalk through this crowd of twenty walking through a crowd <laughs> through a crowd of twenty workers who look like they don't know what they're supposed to be doing, <laughs> and one of them they look like they they, <laughs> they look like they were going to a costume party and the and the theme was uh, the village people and they all chose to look like <laughs> the construction worker. Nobody well, chose the awkward. other ones. We all did the same. Like, hey guys, this is the only one that's not culturally <laughs> offensive. I think <laughs> like, I'm not sure what to dress as anymore. So uh, uh, and then all of a sudden one of them empties an entire can of pepper spray on the security guard just and Anthony's like, wait, I was supposed to do that. <laughs> what are you doing? That's my bag. <laughs> He's like, my plan. So Anthony spray paint spray paints. Anthony like pepper sprays the pepper guy. sprays the guy. Yeah, um, <laughs> takes takes the money. Oh well, before he takes the money, takes off his clip on tie. <laughs> says, I'm not gonna need this anymore. And well, then, you're gonna like this. Oh no! He takes the money, um, and he had retrofitted his gear that was matching everybody else's to be tear away. Yeah, shut and up. So he runs behind <laughs> Bank of America and he tears away all his gear. I love it. And leaves. I it, love a good tear away. <laughs> leaves it all behind Bank of America and runs down to the creek with his bag, hops on his inner tube. What's he wearing underneath it? Just regular street clothes. super suit. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Why you go big? <laughs> just regular street clothes, and then he just inner tubes his way. Down the. Meanwhile, a crowd of twenty <laughs> witnesses stands it's by, standing by the creek, and, just, and they're like, "What are you doing, what, man? Do you guys think that was the guy in charge?" A <laughs> uh, yeah, officer. He's on that inner tube in the creek right there. You can see him. Yeah, it's uh, next, the creek is very slow moving. He's <laughs> still over there. He's right next to the sea dew right there. The one yeah, that the looks real messed up. <laughs> <laughs> the bottomed out sea dew over there. Okay. And but so they really are all witnesses. So he inner tubes his way down the down the uh, the creek, which he actually earned a nickname for the the inner tube portion of this, mm -hmm. which was DB Tuber. Shut up! <laughs> You're, did you just make that up? Because that's funny serious. if you made that up. A hundred percent serious. This is Somebody else name. made it up. They renamed they like DB his, Tuber. He's been referred to as the Craigslist robber and the D and DB Tuber. I enjoy that so much. So DB Tuber rolls down the creek, and when he gets to the other end of the creek. He quickly realizes a couple issues. One, he says, "Crap, I don't know what to do with all this money. Like, where am I going to hide all this?" Yeah. <laughs> and then two, he's like, "My shoes are soaking wet, um, and so I'm leaving like footprints, and also like I'm afraid someone's going to see them and be like, why are your shoes so wet?" Uh, and so, which is <laughs> a common question. <laughs> I get it a lot. Actually, you walk into see me, like, 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 "Why are your shoes so wet?" <laughs> it's the limp. Yeah, sometimes when you're, if you have a lip, your shoe, your feet sweat. Have you ever had a broken foot? <laughs> you know. Well, you're about to. <laughs> <laughs> so. Why he, are your shoes so wet? He gets on the other side of the creek, runs in this little office building, asks if he can use their phone. Oh, I thought he was like, "Can I have your shoes? <laughs> can I have your shoes?" <laughs> asked if he could use their phone, and, and I watched an interview with him, and he said that this was the most stressful point of the whole heist for him. Because he's standing there looking at the with a duffel bag of cash, with a duffel bag of cash, and soggy shoes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he's like, "Can I use your phone?" He calls his wife and asks for her to pick him up and give him a the ride wet home. Wet foot bandit. And so his wife picks him up and drives him home. He stops by a friend's house, leaves the cash. And Does she know what's going on? No clue. Uh, <laughs> she okay. She's like, "Why are your shoes your shoes so wet?" She probably didn't even ask. <laughs> Why Listen, here's so what wet? I think is ridiculous. <laughs> 
<laughs> is that she just goes, okay. Now, if you're picking up your spouse, now yeah. I'm saying this. If my girlfriend called me from a random number and was yeah. like, hey, I'm at this building, come pick me up. Yeah. And then I just go pick her up and she's got a duffel bag mm -hmm. and wet shoes. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to ask questions. Yeah, that's pretty fair. I, I would think. Yep. And yeah. the wife was just like, okay. Yeah, she was like, oh, hey, how was your day? <laughs> and he was like, oh, I was just. He like, was pretty stressed. I went to the bank <laughs> and. Uh, Trying to get my jet ski out of the creek. Lazy river down. Your jet ski. We don't have a jet ski. Well, see do. <laughs> this is a different brand. <laughs> okay, so she picks him up, takes him to a friend's house, drops the money off. He drops the money off. He's like, I gotta take this duffel bag to Jack. Jack the limper. <laughs> the limper. So, and he leaves it in Jack's safe. Which why his friend was like. He's like, he's like, hey, can I leave this duffel bag in your safe? And his friend's just like, sure, man. Like, why are your feet so wet? <laughs> <laughs> Would you too also many, like some shoes? There's too many complicit people along this road. That's what I'm saying. That's where I was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so uh, the police show up to the bank, and they're like, what happened here? Uh, there's a 20 suspects. You guys, you guys all fit the bill of what we're looking for. Uh, and you can go though, sir. <laughs> all right, we. He's like one, like. Huge guy. <laughs> We're pretty sure you're not the one. Uh, yeah, you can go. You home. don't really fit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so they interview all these people. They find out that he hired all the the guy must have hired all these people. Right. Um, Did they get paid? I don't know. Actually, <laughs> probably not. I don't think he paid in advance. I think he was like, "We'll pay at the end of the job." Yeah. Um, and so uh, uh, they end up finding along around the side of Bank of America his mask, which mm. he had ditched. And they're like, hey, we could get some DNA oh, from this okay. mask. It's 2008. That's right. It's 2008. Can't get away with stuff anymore. Mm -mm. Uh, and so uh, they took that back to the lab. But for all intents and purposes at this point, they have no idea who did this. Hey, do you like our show and want to help us keep doing it? One of the easiest ways to do that is to support our merchandise. Wear it out in the wild. Tell all your friends. They'll be like, what is Tolulin? And you'll have to explain what this dumb show is. To get access to our exclusive merchandise, please text Tillin to 66866. Thank you so much for your help. So he uh, says, well, hey, I got $400,000 in my friend's safe. That's all you, that's all that's in those duffel bags is 400 grand. Yeah, yeah, so he has he's got four hundred thousand dollars. It's not even that much. He's got four hundred thousand dollars. Like, I could pull this off in other cities. Uh, tells his wife. Hey, I got a business trip. I got to leave town goes to Vegas and goes hard in Vegas gambles a ton of money. Actually ends up cheating on his wife there sees Britney Spears um, live live no, like, no. not no. just out on the strip. <laughs> not just he saw her. Which he definitely didn't. He just saw a blonde girl that he was like, I'm Britney Spears. I'm Britney yeah, Spears. tells maybe he tells everyone I saw Britney Spears in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, I saw Britney Spears in Vegas. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. got the bank. Saw Britney yeah. Spears in Vegas. Woo, yeah, and Crazy. then he gets there and like, have you ever, you went to Fremont, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 the yeah. old Vegas, right? Because mm -hmm. you're a sinner and you've been. Uh, you and uh, have. as an accountability partner, <laughs> and there's the uh, the people on the zip lines oh, above, yeah, 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 and he yeah. goes, oh. That's it's incredible. just it's it's what I did with no water. With no water. You know? <laughs> he's in the hotel in the lazy river. <laughs> he's just like, this is this is what the I life. should have done. I should have done this. So he went to Vegas. Went, how much did he lose in Vegas? Um please say all of it. Not all of it, but okay. he lost a lot. He yeah. lost a lot in Vegas. Um and then And they've got the serial numbers for those dollars. Yeah, yeah, they do. Um they don't track him from that though. Uh, he comes back. He, he comes back home. Seriously regrets what he did in Vegas. Very upset about it, right? Um, the seeing the Britney Spears show. <laughs> that's what he was regretting. <laughs> he was like, I should not have. Died. I should have I watched should've. David Blaine or whoever. <laughs> I don't know. That's Chris a Angel. Waste, waste of a trip to Vegas. I'm going back. <laughs> I think Jeff Dunham was also there. That <laughs> <laughs> was at the height of Jeff Dunham. So, uh, um, uh, ironically. Uh, his undoing came a month later uh, when a local homeless man came forward uh, who had a camp by the creek 
Oh no. And the guy I'm said like, that. every day I watch this guy <laughs> build a pulley system <laughs> and uh, I actually watched an interview with this guy and they said with the homeless guy. Yeah, and they in, in the thing he said, yeah, I saw him running down with this duffel bag um, and like these like worker clothes and he tore them away like just tore them off and hit them in these bushes. And so I went over and I was like, well, this looks like something illegal. And so he took oh. the suit. He took all the tearaway clothes and he put them in his tent uh, and he called the police like he went into town, called the police and said, hey, I know who just did that crime. And now imagine <laughs> you work in an office, right? You're in an office. <clears throat> just normal day. <laughs> you know exactly where I'm going. Right? <laughs> Soggy <laughs> shoes man comes in duffel bag. <laughs> all right. And he says, I need to use your phone. Call my wife. And so you go, okay, here you go. And a car pulls up. This is before Uber. You've never seen this before. Car pulls up, guy gets in, drives off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two minutes later, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> a homeless man comes in yeah. with torn up clothes. Torn up and clothes. Says, I need to use your phone. Really dry shoes. Just super dry. <laughs> I mean the driest <laughs> shoes you've ever seen in your life. Bone dry shoes, right? Shoe dry shoes. Sir, why are your shoes so dry? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty humid outside. They should be worse, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I, just, I, I, I keep, I take care of him. The police you know? didn't take, uh, didn't take his tip seriously, so they ignored it for like months until finally, really? yeah, until finally, they were like, oh, remember, remember, remember that, that first tip, like that day one. They go track him down. Like, and he oh still got yeah, it. but he also told us some other crazy things on, on the phone <laughs> call. You know, <laughs> he's like, I saw a guy <laughs> run into the creek with a duffel bag and tore off his clothes, and also he had a tail, right? <laughs> 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 Like, oh man! Yeah, he, he told me, "Come with me, and you can be one with the Gators." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, I, you know, there's I no Gators know. up here. This is Washington." But State. I already committed to be part of the Water Buffalo <laughs> Tribe, right? And so I couldn't go against my Water Buffalo family and join the Gator Gang. So I watched an interview with the police, and the police said the detective said they tracked him down. They found his little uh, encampment, and he said he came over. And he knocked on his tent and he said, he said, I didn't know what to do. I just kind of knocked on his tent. <laughs> the fabric, <laughs> just the. <laughs> oh, hello, it's the police. Why did you just say hello? <laughs> Why do you got to knock? <laughs> and they said he, he came out and he said, it's about time. And he just <laughs> handed them the stuff and he said, here's your guy. Um, and they took and it. they were like, there's no man here. <laughs> He's like, here's your guy. He said, look closer. <laughs> He's inside. He's it. real tiny. <laughs> he lives in the pocket. <laughs> Just a crazy dude. This is Jim Jam. <laughs> Jim Jam. Jim Jam. We've got to know each other real well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they take it. So now they got two great pieces so they got the of like DNA evidence. Yeah. Um, and they they've tracked it down. They've got a pretty strong idea that it's Anthony, but they don't have enough DNA proof based yet. on what DNA. Yeah, I don't know. They just grabbed it off. The Do they just have all of our DNA. Lot. I don't know. Probably. How does it work? I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> so <laughs> they follow they follow him around and they end up waiting for him to get out of his car one day walking to the gas station throws a Gatorade bottle in the trash. They come behind him grab that Gatorade bottle get the test. There we go. It was Mastered good enough. It. it was good enough to match and so they knew it was him. Uh, they end up booking him. He goes to prison for six years, um, gets out, uh, and now he's a motivational speaker. That's uh, DB Tuber. He, okay. <laughs> you can't just go, now he's a motivational speaker. What are his topics? Prison, bank robbery. <laughs> he, yeah. did a, he did TEDx Iowa, Idaho, um, and he said. Things uh, I can talk about. Uh, let's see. Tearaway clothes. Uh, <laughs> Gardening, yep, yep. Uh, CVS, uh, River Monsters, Sea <laughs> Dew, Sea uh, Dew. Lessons, lessons learned from crashing my jet ski. Uh, That's the title of his best-selling book. Yep, yep, yep. Um, uh, so, yeah, what happens? All that, like, don't he has to pay back the, the money, the right? Well, yeah, they seize it. They yeah, seize but it, I mean, what about all the money lost in Vegas? Does he do? Oh, that. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure he got a fine for it. Let's see. Uh, right here. Uh, Two hundred twenty thousand was recovered uh, from him. Um, he went through one hundred eighty thousand yeah, dollars. How long? Yeah. So he did this on September thirtieth. <clears throat> yeah, he did it on September thirtieth. Was arrested almost exactly one month later. 
Wow. Um, you blew through $180,000 in a month? Yeah, I went to Vegas, bought a luxury SUV. Um, had a pretty good time. $6,000 a day. Yeah, yeah, and bought a lot of Vicodin. But hey, is that worth it, though? No. Let's say, no, hear me out, though. <laughs> Let's say, how, how much jail time would you trade for 30 days of just ridiculous spending? None. N- literally none. You wouldn't do it one day. No, no, one, na- absolutely one night not. in jail. Absolutely. 30 not. days of just spending however money on whatever you thir- want. Have you watched that show 30 days in or 60 days in? Whatever no. that is. It seems horrible. Okay, I would great. never want to go. You wouldn't for, do one night in jail for, for 30 days. Hour. 30 days of just unlimited no spending. You can do whatever you want. No way. I don't need anything else. I'm content. You wouldn't even How use much? any of that money to buy a power strip. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I've got one. I've got a working one that my friend told me I can use. <laughs> <laughs> how much? Okay. How much? How much jail time would you do for thirty days? All right, at least one. So I'm already. <laughs> the game isn't fun if we just go. Okay, you wouldn't at all. What's the longest you would do? Oh man, for thirty days yeah, of 30 just days unlimited of just spending. Unlimited spending. Yeah. What's the longest you would go? Oh man, I don't. A year. Think about, dude. I'm saying, think about 30 days of unlimited spending. You need to watch more prison shows, man. That's not worth it, bro. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, we're <laughs> probably. Jeez. All right. Well, I guess I would do 11 months to make it a solid, you know, just bookend it. Yeah. Yeah. You got 30 one days, year, one month. 30 of days just, of great. Yeah. A year of awful. Yeah. Yeah. And then just 11 months of like, this is pretty rough. Yeah. But I mean, like, wasn't you, worth you, it. Like, agree 30, you know? Do you now? Do not. Here's the thing. Do you get to keep all the stuff you bought in the 30 days? I mean, I think you have to. Like, it, like there's no. To make that worth it. Yeah. There's no way you would do it if you. You wouldn't do it for what? If you got to keep all the stuff you bought in that 30 days, you wouldn't do one night in jail? I don't know, man. I don't think so. All like, right. It seems pretty awful. Bro. I don't know. It's obvious that you've robbed a bank and you're trying to cover it up right now. <laughs> yeah, so he goes to prison. I uh, watched his TED talk. He said that in prison, a lot of people asked him for tips on bank robbery, and he said, I don't know why you're asking me. I'm here too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do it, man? <laughs> uh, well, I got caught. Yeah. So yeah. let's start without the inner tube. Yeah, but I mean, like, if you can kind of, you can kind of, you know. Yeah, learn from other people's mistakes. Right, 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 right. So yeah, so he you travels, he reasoning. does like school assemblies and like, does like, like don't do drugs, don't rob banks, <laughs> like don't do yeah. sketchy Craigslist ads, uh, stuff like that. So um, he's wrote a, wrote a book, really built a good career out of it. Um, repaired his marriage, uh, is happily married still to the same woman. Um, they've they've uh, patched it up, uh, and now he's resuming his life with his kids. Uh, and crazy part, yeah. he actually enjoyed having wet feet. <laughs> So every morning he just takes a pitcher of water and just just and then uh, you just hear him. Yeah, it's pretty gross, but hey, everybody's got their weird thing. Everybody's a little weird. Yeah. Oh, here comes Anthony. Soggy sketchers. <laughs> Still wearing sketches. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, uh, the moral of the story from him, uh, he talks a lot about how uh, how how it wasn't worth it. How he spent so much time in jail. He said, "Hey, I I missed everything." And he said, "I missed so much of my kids' lives. I missed so yeah. much of my time with my my family, so I could get a little bit of money and some Vicodin." Uh, and he said it wasn't worth it. Um, but he's famous now, so I mean, let's be honest. He's got a, built a pretty decent career out of it, so uh, capitalized on that. So. Yeah. What happened to the Brink security guard? I mean, he's still doing it. He's just <laughs> really cautious about right. construction workers now. <laughs> Another question. <clears throat> Let's say you're a bring security guard driver, right? Yeah. How many times would you allow yourself to be pepper sprayed before you quit? How many times in any job, any job would you allow? What's, well, okay. Okay. What's what's the maximum salary you have to have for oh, you to be true. able to that's continue true. getting pepper sprayed? Wow. <laughs> then you're going to go like if you're getting pepper sprayed every day. <laughs> If you work at a pepper spray factory, all right, and <laughs> you are the control. Test. <laughs> you just go to a coffee shop, and there's a guy sitting at the table, just 
His eyes are super sw- swollen. Swollen shut. Hey, His face you, is ripped. Should you hey. go to the doctor? <laughs> no, it's one of those TikTok videos. Hey, what do you do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I'm a I'm quality control. Not even looking at him. They're over here. He's like, I'm quality control. <laughs> At a, at, have you seen those pink pepper sprays at Target? <laughs> I make sure they work. Because that's not something you want to sell a, a defective you never, you never product. You never want to need it and have it not work. Right. Yep. 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 Yeah. So uh, it's much more fun to work for like the Girl Scout cookies places. Like, oh, we got a new product. Let's try let's, it. Let's you know? test it out. And this guy, it's like, we got a new product. Let's. <laughs> What makes you think you're qualified to work at Girl Scouts of America? Yeah, I make a lot of money doing it, though. I, can't, I haven't seen my kids in four years, but man, it's worth Honestly, it. I haven't seen much of anything in four years. That was the joke. <laughs> Glad you went there. Uh, you know. So, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, oh, I should. I, I almost forgot. This was recommended to us by one of our patrons. Oh. That's his full name on there. Hex. Yeah, can you bleep um, that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so thanks for the, thanks for the recommendation. Yeah, if uh, you want to join our Discord, uh, you know, join our Patreon. Yeah. We also, only read recommendations of people who pay to give them to us. That is actually true. <laughs> uh, but the other thing, though, is that we've done a few episodes. Like, um, so we did Tartarians, yes. and we did uh, what was the um, Rockwall? Rockwall. Baldazar. Yeah, uh, but Valiant Thor, Valiant those Thor. kind of things. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the people who are interested in those topics yeah. suck. Yeah, they hate us. Right? They, they are the alien people don't like us. So yeah. if you are listening to this podcast, could you please go to Apple Podcasts yeah. and give us five stars? Yeah. Because the people who like the alien stuff are are they're destroying our ratings. They're mad. At they're us. really yeah. they really yeah. don't like us. Yeah, and but they're they're more vocal than you are. Yeah, so person who enjoys us. Outnumber them. Fight them, yeah. and I, here's what I want you to do. I want you to find all the Valiant Thor fans and meet us in the Bank of America parking lot. Okay, <laughs> dress however you think that would look. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you think a Valiant Thor truther would look like, and dress meet like us that. in the Bank of America parking lot. Mm-hmm. There's a creek behind it. Yep, 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 yep. yep all right, yep. we're gonna drown all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. Uh, Watching your face hear me say that was worth that joke because <laughs> you were like, all right, I guess we're wrapping up and whatever. And then, <laughs> that was worth it. That was a good. That was worth it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, cool. Um, let's just, uh, I guess, fiddle this guy off. Okay. Hey. Thanks for watching Things I Learned Last Night. If you like this video, we have others you can watch, or we have highlights some of our favorite moments from shows. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future episodes, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week on Things I Learned Last Night.